Hello everyone, Rebecca here. I am Mama24. Thank you for joining me in my craft room again today. I've been getting quite a few questions about how I put together my paper bag flip book and my envelope flip book that I showed in a recent video. Um, I don't have those with me any longer. They've been sent out, uh, so I can't show you the original ones, but I will link to the video where I show those two flip books. Um, they're unicorn and rainbow themed fairy tale using doodlebug. Yeah. Um, so I thought I would just pull out some more of my supplies and just show you how I put them together. Um, there are lots and lots of ideas. Uh, if you just like type in envelope flip book or paper bag book or paper bag flip book, lots and lots of options come up, but this is just how I did it for as many bags as I had that color to work with and things like that. So, um, so first of all, I'm going to start with the envelope flip book. And with that style in particular that I did, you can use as many envelopes as you want. Um, I think mine ended up being four envelopes. Um, so I'll just take one of these away. So you can use any kind of envelope that you wish. Um, it doesn't have to be like a V uh, fold. It can be uh, a rectangular fold. Just keep in mind that if you want to make it quite a thick book, one of these flaps is going to end up being the closure of your album. So you don't want the envelope to have too small of a flap to it if you want to make a chunky flip book, if that makes any sense. Um, again, if uh, you go look at the video uh, which I'm referencing uh, where I show my envelope flip book, um, I use similar envelopes to these with quite a deep V in the envelope so you can bring it up onto the cover quite a bit further. And I close that one with Velcro. Um, again, you can close yours with ribbon, um, however however you'd want to do that, but it stayed closed best I found with Velcro. So what you're going to do, the construction is really, really simple. You just um, line up your envelopes simply like this. So you have the open envelope facing up and you're going to put your next envelope down on top of that one and then you follow um, the same pattern to your next one and so on and so forth. So there is going to be your completed book and then you fold it up like this. So this will end up being your cover here. And then you can continue with um, however you want to cover it with papers and things of that nature. So I used um, both wet and dry adhesive for my projects, but I'm going to show you um, a little bit of a tip that I wish I would have done with my envelope um, uh, flip book that I made so that it could get a little chunkier. So my glue of choice today is the Art Glitter Glue. Hopefully I have enough in this bottle. It is almost empty. This is my new favorite, favorite glue. Um, it doesn't stay sticky like the Tombow Mono Multi, you know that one, this one in the, this one. It, this is a great glue, but if it oozes out, it like sticks to your fingers and it catches all the embellishments and stuff. If this oozes out, it's gonna dry clear and it's not gonna be sticky. So it dries clear and it dries fast and I love it. It's great stuff. Okay, so all you're gonna wanna do, now here is, here's what I wished I would have done with my envelope. I glued my envelopes together so that they were like butted up against each other like this on the seam there. And I would suggest that you pull it back a little bit. You can just eyeball it. Um, but just to give it a gusset, so to speak, so that you can fill up your envelopes and make it a little more chunky. So all you're going to do is take your glue and run a strip of adhesive um, along 
along the outside of your flap and place your envelope down on top of it leaving just eyeballing it leaving a little bit of a gusset so that um, so that it's straight and then just press down so that is what it looks like on the back then and all you're gonna do is continue so I'm going to um, just put the next two envelopes down the same way and I'm going to leave a little bit of a space again I'll pull it up so I can see what I'm doing and make sure that it's straight and the last one so I'm not trying to get the adhesive too close to the edge I'm not worrying about it because I like to um, cover all of my envelopes with pattern paper anyway it makes the book more sturdy and it looks prettier as well okay so that is it so then you fold up your book and here is where it's going to fold onto the top so this is where I would suggest that you make a score line so I'm just going to bring in my scoreboard here and I'm going to give it a bit of a score mark just a little bit from this original score mark uh, to make like a binding so to speak so I'm gonna do it right there just so that it gives it a little bit um, so that it's not rounded it's more square and I'm just gonna fold down on that line give it a little bit of a score and then when you close your book and there's stuff in it it's gonna look more like a book and we've made room by, uh, with the gussets by gluing together our envelopes the way we did. So that is the basic construction of the envelope uh, mini book. So you can just, um, you can put pattern papers here however you wish and you've got all these neat little pockets to put your stuff in. Um, yeah, just lots of fun to embellish and the glue will dry um, nicely. This art glitter glue won't stay lumpy like that. It'll, it'll straighten out. Okay, so that is the envelope flip book. Done. Ready to be embellished. So I'm going to bring in the paper bags. Now for the album that I made, I used three paper bags. And the first thing that I did was decide what paper I wanted to use. And I wanted to use a six by six paper pad. So I wanted to make sure that the portion of this part of the bag, um, not including the bottom here, but this portion would house a six by six paper pad. So I just, um, I measured it out and made sure that I was gonna be cutting off just a little bit of a sliver from the top of each bag. And besides, they're kind of like, like you can see that they're not really straight anyway. So I just took all of three of my bags and I took my paper trimmer and I measured from, I measured from the inside here and I wanted it to be about six inches so here is six inches on my cutter and I'm just gonna cut the rest of the bag off and then I know that my six by six paper pads will be able to um, I'll be able to use a six by six paper pad is what I'm trying to say there we go so um, they're a little bit shorter and now for the construction of the album, what I did with this one was I had a little bit of a flap on the inside. So I put it down like this and here is the basic construction before it's all glued down. And here is a flap, a flap and then this one folds in and this one comes together as the cover. So we have to do a little bit of folding first. Um, this one goes in, 
so you can just use your fingers or if you have a bone folder handy that's great but we don't need it at this point and this portion gets glued right on top of another paper bag facing up so that it creates on the very back of our flip book we've got a pocket created by this bag so again I'm gonna take my favorite glue and just tack this down here All right, so the next step that we wanna do is fold in both of these remaining flaps of the bag so that we can glue them together. So here you could make a decision to maybe have another pocket. Like if we only glued the bottoms, then this could remain a pocket. But I just glued them together to give them a little bit of stability, so I will do that. So there is our basic book um, with some gluing and there it is. So now what you want to do is decide what you want, where you want to have pockets. Do you want to keep this as a pocket? Um, for me, I was flipping it over, so I decided that for me this was not going to be a pocket. Or you could flip this over and have a little pocket this way. The options are so endless with a, with a paper bag. It's, it's wonderful. But what I did with the one that I am referenced to is um, gluing down both of these flaps. So I will just do that. And then also, you want to glue this one down. My glue is almost empty. All right, so that is the basic book. So here is the front cover. You open it to reveal a one page and you have one page over here. You open this way to reveal another page and a flap page plus another page in the center. So then when you close it, you also have a pocket in the back. So um, the other thing you need to decide is if you want to have a ribbon closure on it the way I did, you're going to want to do that before you glue paper any um, paper onto the back. So if that's the case, then decide where you want to have your ribbon closure and glue that down. So I'm just going to glue this black ribbon onto here as my closure. there we go our little book is done so now comes the fun part of putting on your papers and embellishments and adding little pockets and flaps here and there um, so I hope this was helpful um, if you have any further questions please leave them in the comments section down below so here is our little paper bag album and this gl art glitter glue it draw it'll dry clear and it'll just hold there so nicely I love that stuff and here is our envelope flip book. So thank you everybody for watching and for all your lovely comments. And I will be back with you in another video very shortly. Bye-bye.